My time in Vietnam is quickly coming to an end and I'm heading to a new country on Saturday. I've spent the last month in Dalat, which is high in the mountains with cool temperatures in the 60s and 70s and I've loved it here and will be coming back. One of my highlights was visiting Pongor Waterfalls, which is said to be the most beautiful waterfall of the Central Highlands. If you've not been to Vietnam, put it on your bucket list. My next stop will be Siam Reap, Cambodia, which is the gateway to Angkor Wat and the largest religious monument in the world. Here are a few pictures of the Arab B&B home I rented, which looks like a really nice place. If you have any suggestions for places I should visit or things I should do while I'm in Siam Reap in Cambodia, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you happen to live in Siam Reap, maybe we can grab a coffee one day. I'll be in Cambodia for a month and after that I'm not sure where I'm going next. Let me know if you have any great suggestions. The writing is on the wall and Beyond Meat is going to zero. As recently as January of 2021, the stock was trading at $221 and it's currently trading at $14.20. Beyond Meat currently has a market capitalization of $938 million and they do have good cash reserves of about $400 million so we shouldn't schedule the funeral yet but the vultures are circling. And Beyond Meat recently had two newsworthy stories. First, Beyond Meat suspended its chief operating officer after he was arrested for biting a man's nose during a fight following an Arkansas football game. As if their Beyond Sausages images that went viral for all the wrong reasons wasn't enough, the COO had to circle back to cannibalism. You really cannot make this stuff up. And the nail in the coffin is the chief supply officer, Bernie Adcock, who has only been with the firm for nine months, is bailing to pursue other opportunities. Bernie Adcock held the same position with Tyson Foods, and after nine months, he sees the writing is on the wall as well. With a recession and inflation, people are looking to save money, and Beyond's beef sells for $8.35 a pound, compared with USDA ground beef, which sells for $4.90 a pound. And with the recession and inflation, I just don't see how this non-profit company can survive. And by non-profitable, I mean it's a company that's not making any money, never has made any money, and continues to lose money. Quick look at the chart and we can see Beyond Meat is dying a slow death and with the chief operating officer suspended, the chief supply officer quitting, and an overpriced product, if you own Beyond Meat, you should definitely consider salvaging whatever you can and sell it. And if you were looking to play Beyond Meat to the downside to make a few dollars, consider buying the October 7th $15 put, which is currently priced at $1.32. When buying puts, I like to buy around a negative 0.5 delta. In a bear market, buying puts are a great way to play the market to the downside. And if you'd like me to walk you through put options, check out this short video where I show the entire process. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please do me a favor, like, subscribe, and share the video. And if you'd like to receive all of my trade alerts and indicators or grab some free stocks, check out the links down below. Peace, and I'll see you on the next video.